today at the Brass Armadillo in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's go inside and see if we can find any goodies. Here in the Brass Armadillo in Phoenix, Arizona. Pretty nice booth. Some NW root beer mugs down there. Those are nice. Calavera cat here, he's 35. Teapot. Looks like it's silver. Let's check the tag real quick. It says vintage Godner silver plated teapot. It's running about $35. Now that says trinket box with golden tone teapot cup. I don't know if they're saying these are trinkets. I don't think so. It's a teapot, so. Oh, look at that lamp right there. Solid wood. Very Hawaiian. There's some Day of the Dead. Merchandise, those are about eight bucks a piece, it looks like. Looks like the cat's ten. Ooh, I like that. It's really nice looking. Vintage blue and green decanter applied fruit designs with stopper. It's 20 bucks. It's actually not bad for that. If we had, didn't have to ship it and take it in our luggage. I might think about grabbing that. We'll try to grab some stuff from here, but like, it's gotta be very selective. It's gotta be able to, you know, make it through, make it through the process of going through the airport and getting back to the house. So that's a really cool picture and glass set. I like that. I don't know what they got on that. But it looks like it's Seventy dollars, sixty-nine. That's a great deal. I mean, it's blown glass. It's got spiral design, really thick, heavy, good quality glass. You know, you get six cups. Really cool. I don't know how much video I'll get here. Um, we're gonna try to get some for shorts, or maybe I'll get enough video to put a length video together. We have another video I still got to get out. So, <clears throat> of the armadillo actually in Denver that we went to on New Year's Day. They kind of behind doing some stuff because uh you know it's just been busy holidays and stuff it's a nice brass little teapot that's 39 dollars porcelain branch miniature teapot tibetan it's really cool so whenever we find stuff i'll try to get some video and hopefully you like it so please like comment and subscribe and we'll get you as much footage as we can thanks bye Santa here. He's twenty-four dollars. Oh, twenty-five. Pottery vase back there. It's thirty-five. I would normally grab something like that, but that there's a needlepoint flower artwork down there. I don't know, but I don't think it would survive the trip. The frame, yeah. Or else we'd grab that Santa because he's amazing.
Is that a pig or is that an owl or is that a cat? I'm guessing that's an... They're saying it's a cat. Okay, good. If you saw this, would you guess cat, pig, owl? What would, what would be your guess? They're calling it a cat. It's a pig cow, cow cat. It's a pig cow cat? Yeah. Because it's got this little... I, I would figure a cat would have a longer tail. <laughs> but he looks like he's got a beak. He is a, yeah, he's interesting because he's got the face of a pig, but he's got a beak of an owl and the ears of an owl. He's kind of chubby. He doesn't really doesn't have a cat tail, but they're saying it's a cat sculpture or scat. Yeah, cat, crystal cat. No, I don't know. My opinion differs, I guess. I've never seen any cats that look like that. Those are nice. Tumblers right there. Federal on the rocks tumblers. They're 80. Some frosted glass. This kind of goes back here quite a ways, as you can see. We love the brass armadillos. We try to hit them in every town that we go to. We do a lot of traveling, so oh, he's amazing. Yeah, it's got some crazy in there. He's eighteen dollars. He's got a little chip on his ear too. So it is signed original. Not by a person, just says original. So I don't know if it's a company or what. Well, that's cool. Box alone is cool. So. We'll keep trying to bring you some more footage. Okay, had to get this on video. Please take your little kids out of the room. I believe that is a booby vase. Not exactly sure. What? My most educated guess is that's what that is. Very nice colors. Uh, I could have done without the front, but eh, different strokes for different folks, huh? Found a wall with some really good art on it. Okay. Got this cat canvas painting. Looks like they want 700 for it. And you come up here, you got these Southwest Bears looking thing. Looking about 75 for those. This is amazing. It's like a blown glass mirror. These pieces on it. It's got a fish up there. And then we have that also. A bedazzled little butterfly. 250 on the mirror. You're looking at about 80 on the bedazzled butterfly. Really nice stuff. Huh, it's a cute little bear. He's 25. Ooh. What's that? Not for sale. Okay. <laughs> This cool little horse. Forty-five. Huh? We got an elephant. Oh, an elephant pin. I love elephants. He's fifteen dollars. Mother pearl. Oh, actually, I think we might get that. Yeah, let's get that one. 
That's cool, Mother of Pearl. That is very cool. I think we'll get that one because that will fit in our suitcase and that'll travel pretty easy. Can we lens it? Yeah. I mean, it's Mother of Pearl, so it's, it's worth way more than nice. 15. It's very detailed. Yeah. I saw it. I was like, well, this is elephant. Jimmy's <clears throat> favorite. There's another elephant right there, too. It's a bronze. It's an elephant bus, 25 bucks. That's not bad for that. Bookend. Oh, there's a beautiful plate down there. Look at that. Some colorful. So, what'd you find out? It's from Hawaii. Is that one the Mother Pearl though too? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's yeah. gonna be about the same, yeah. Excuse me, coming right behind you. Coming right behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Uncle Ben. That train. What is it? It's probably made by some school age child for their father or mother. Yeah. It's a pencil holder. With a bunch of stamps on it. Collectible stamps on it, yeah. Look at all the little shoes. That's very cool. I've never seen anything like these, these little shoes. What? Well, what? I've seen them in glass, but I've never seen them like. Yeah, the resin? Yeah. Yeah. Little resin shoes everywhere. Got some owls. Little figurines. He's cool. He's seven dollars. He's very nice though. A lot of detail on him. Bells, some Buddhas. Got a public phone booth. Thirty nine hundred dollars. Says, operator, I've been on hold forever. It's very funny, very cute. This would be my son's booth. And my daughter. There's some Care Bears. Pokemon. Video games, Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario. Wario. It's almost already now. It's a video game. SpongeBob. Five Nights at Freddy.
tons of plushies. New enemy. Those might be knockoffs, actually. My kids would laugh at those. Always good stuff here at the Brass Armadillos in whatever state you're in. I recommend if you have a Brass Armadillo in your state, you go to it. Phoenix actually has two. And this one has two stories. You can see up there. We'll go up there a little bit later. But now we're just checking out the bottom floor. So much stuff to look at. Try to get as much footage as we can. Don't know how much space I have on my phone. So we didn't bring the camera with us. Normally we have a camera with multiple SD cards, multiple batteries. And we couldn't take that on the plane, so or we didn't want to take it on the plane. So all we have are the phones. There's some Dorothy Thorpe. Well, at least it looks like Dorothy Thorpe. It's got some kind of. I've never seen it with that floral pattern on it, like the inlay, silver inlay. Yeah, Dorothy Thorne Glass Horse set of 14 for, it says set of 14, 20 bucks. Is that right? Set of 14 Dorothy Thorpe Glassware, $20. Wow, that's a pretty good deal. If we were at home, we probably would buy that. Although we don't have a booth anymore, we used to have a booth. We had to kind of close our booth just because it was hard. It was a newer, newer, newer location. We might go back there one of these days. Plus, we're thinking about moving, so we're trying to save save money where we can. So oh, look at him. See little Copley. I would say yes. Usually these lines there make it a little cool. He's a little squirrel, pink squirrel. What's his tag say? Vintage squirrel. 22 bucks. It doesn't say Royal Copley on it, but I would guess it is. Just because those two little lines on the bottom usually mean it is. But there's no sticker, so. had a Santa. Remember my decapitated Santa head? I actually sold him. It's kind of like that. He was white though. White and gold. Alright, we'll come back if we find something really cool. What'd you find? Oh. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's in good shape too. How much do you want for that? 70. Oof, yeah. But look, I mean, it's. It's in perfect condition though. It doesn't look like it's been ever washed in a washer. We have a few of these bottles too, these cobalt blue. Ours have seashells on them though. Let's go. It's Coors Light. Oh, yep. That's pretty cool. All right, well, we'll come back when we see something cool. We got a pretty cool booth. It's got some variety of things, especially some of the stuff that we kind of like. We got this snow globe with the North Pole there. It's got 65 on that. And he's got a big old elephant down there. He's pretty cool. Punch set. Some vases that right there is very nice. Murano Rome glass. It's got some chips on it. You can see right there on the top. What's a hundred for it? But I mean it's still pretty decent shape, even with the chips. There's some Roseville there. It's look like it's Seen some patchwork or maybe some chips. Uh -huh. You got a nice little blue vase. 
the elephant vase. He only wants 25 on that. Blue vase. Some hand painted duck decoys. That's pretty nice too for 35. It's kind of contemporary, looks like a little uh, maybe modern, but you never know. This is a vintage portion. I can't read it. This writing's really small. He's got some Televera here too. A little picture. That's pretty cool. That's huge. 47 on that. And look at this. Hand painted. Hand blown picture here. Water picture. $65. But it's got like, I don't know if those are koi fish or maybe goldfish. Blue handle. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Really nicely done. Really good shape. That's pretty nice for 65. You can see in there. It's got 65 on it. It's really nice stuff. I like that painting or that picture. Well, yeah, it looks like it might be a painting there. Canvas painting. It's got 225 on it. That's pretty cool. Something you hang up in your house. That's pretty cool. Some very nice artwork. Some Mexican artwork. He's got 90 bucks on that. But the main reason my wife called me over here is because she found something that she wishes we could buy. But I told her it won't fit on the plane. And it is right here. Look at that flamingo. Vintage ceramic 20 inch table and painted flamingo. No, this is hand painted. Just, yeah, it says table. Or, oh, 20 inch tall. It looks like table, but it says tall. So they want $226 for that. I mean, he is amazing. I mean, wow. Definitely a piece that you would catch somebody's eye with. This is a really actually nice setup booth. Like, he's got a lot of stuff in here. A lot of vintage tiki stuff. That's right up our alley. We're really beachy Hawaiian tiki people. A lot of tiki glasses. Pink flamingo tiki room. From Maui. So we can spend a lot of time in Hawaii. A lot of tiki stuff. He's cool. He's from a Norwegian cruise. Little turtles. It's a turtle flower frog. There's another turtle flower frog. There may be a lucite paper right there. Really cool booth. I like that. It's like a butterfly trivet. 25 on that. Little owl. Cool stuff. Really well done. A lot of stuff we like. Oh, I like that too. Wicker. Wine. Holder. Pretty nice booth. That's really cool. It's got thirty dollars on that piece. 
That one's really nice too. It's 40, 45 on that one. Got some paperweights. I have quite a bit of paperweights too. Got 20 on that one. It's a pretty nice plate. One glass there. A lot of southwestern uh, design down here, like with the cactuses and stuff. Really cool. And of course, you're in Phoenix, so you're going to see a lot of that. Oh, I like that. We got it's a. Uh, Mercury glass, seven lily cast aluminum lamp. So I'm guessing these are the mercury glass, cast aluminum, really cool. There's a dolphin, I've had him many a times, this old town. I like that. There's a lot of stuff we're seeing. That's 45, some butterscotch. Right there, vintage butterscotch. You know, swan vase. Really cool. That one's nice too. It's cylinder. Really good color. How do you bring my black light? Because well, there's an opalescent jug. Stopper, it's 40. Really cool stuff with some lucite grapes. Got 40 on those. On that, that kind of feels like driftwood. It is driftwood. That's really cool. We're seeing a lot of cool stuff. We haven't really grabbed anything yet. Just simply because you know we want to make sure it, it makes it over on the plane. Those are kind of cool. Sand art. There's a really cool tour. Pretty sure my wife didn't see that. I'm not buying him because he would never make it to sale. He would get a license. That's pretty cool. Fish or whatever that is. There's some more lucite grapes. Nesting chicken. He's got some more glass here at the end here. I'll come out this way. A carnival glass there. Some blink oak. Oh, sorry. It's got like a, a ship on it. I've never seen blink oak with a ship on it. Oh, it says Rowana glass. So it is not blink oak. He has his Rowana. It's very cool. He's got some. This is up here. That one in the back's really nice. This one here. He's got 25 on it. That's pretty nice. Really good price. I mean, you could probably get more than that out of it if you sold it and resell it. Some more carnival glass. Uh, This is really nice stuff. So we have to be really selective though, because we gotta make sure it survives the plane trip. So here's another nice face right there. 60 on that one. Yeah. Asian box, 22. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Some Talavera Mexican art here. That's pretty cool. Hand blown black glass ornaments. Talavera magnets. Or pens maybe. No, it's magnets. 
Hans, it's over down there. The turtles are really cool. So you find a lot of Talavera and Day of the Dead stuff down here. You know, your Phoenix, close to Mexico. It's the style down here. It really is. Tons of it. We find it in Colorado too, but like here, it's there's a, just a mass amount of it, as you can see. I've seen pretty much Talavera in every booth. Little figures are cool. Delaware, a couple. Day of the Dead. They're 65 bucks a piece. There's a Chihuahua. <sighs> Some llama pins. from alabaster angels or doves maybe marble alabaster something like that there's all that so a lot of cactus a lot of southwestern style oh there's a nice telemeter back there. there's a couple of them i don't know if it's a salt and pepper shaker set or what why oh that's what it is Touch like a vintage antique can. Yes. And it was sticky. Bad. So yeah, that's a salt and pepper shaker. Owls. Talavera. It's got a little tray that comes with it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what those are. I guess birds. Yeah. It's also a salt and pepper shaker. Anything else? I saw some. I can't remember what it was, but I was like, it's too big. Yeah, that's what I was like. It's got to make the trip. So you're doing the glass cases now? You have the horses. The blue one in the back's pretty cool. It's a plastic. Or yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Little... Like hutches? Little... Yeah, but they're, they're actually for printing presses. Yeah. The vintage art class face. I only got six bucks on, or no, 29 on that one. 30. Oh. Like, Losing clothes. There's <laughs> Thomas the Tank down there. You thought your pants fell off? Yeah. <laughs> like a that would not be good. Oh, there's a cool little vase down there. Hand painted with all the fish on it. There's a lot of nice glass here. Actually, we had these um, glass paperweight candle holders at ours, Brass Armadillo in Denver. And I was thinking about getting them. They only had them for 30 bucks. This guy's got them for 150 for the pair. There's a Wizard of Oz lion Christmas tree ornament. That's pretty cool. He's not for sale. Oh no, the stand's not for sale. The ornament is 50 bucks. Huh. Okay. My wife has called me. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Wife has called me over here. Oh, what have we got back here? Oh, a secret passageway. Oh, look at that Tim. He's pretty cool. Oh, there. He's a bit dirty. What are we listening to? <laughs> Look at that face. 165 on the Murano. It's pink, but it's very nice. Look at those guys down there. These are pretty cool. 50 bucks on him. And this guy right here. That's actually a pretty good deal. For the wood carving. Asian decor. Some more horses. He's pretty cool. Pony for $33 painted. Some mushrooms. They sell pepper shakers? Where are they? Nope, they're just stoneware. Yeah, mushrooms. Oh, is that what this is? <laughs> the playground in my mind, Clint Holmes. She wanted to download it. Oh, in case I want to download it, yeah. Sure, I don't think that guy's supposed to go in there. I don't think he's a stopper. I think he's just kicking it. There's a lampshade for you. Tinkerbell. Little eagles. He's cool. It's like a tie. A lion. Looks like he needs to be coal painted. All his coal paints off. 1940s Belmont Lion Cookie Jar. $30. He's lost a lot of his paint. Still pretty cool though. 1940s. Look at that. Oh. Van Halen. Moans. I actually collect a lot of this music stuff. Music and movies. That's my thing. That's my niche. I collect it and it never leaves the house. They do have a lot of nice glass here at this Best Summer Dale here in Phoenix. It's been very hard to find anything to take with us because it's all glass and we're like, but it's got to survive the plane. But you could pack it in there to where you probably could, but still. Oh, look at these clown plates. She would love those. And you got Star Trek. It's like Gone with the Wind, maybe. Some patriotic ones in the back there. You know, a lot of people collect plates. It's not as much as they used to. Those plates are very hard to move, but yeah. 
There is a marker for him. Oh, there you go. It looks like it might be flashed, actually. I'm not sure. Ellie Smith, Red Moon and Stars, candy dish, $24. It's actually a really good deal. And I got some eggs. I'm not exactly sure what those are, but they're pretty cool. They are salt and pepper shakers. Hey, babe, look at these salt and pepper shakers. I don't know what they are. Are they onions or? I'm thinking there's. It says Japan salt and pepper shakers are 15 bucks for the pair. <laughs> I don't know what they are. I think they're onions. Yeah. They're, um. And those are eggplants for sure. Pink depression glass. Ice cream cups. Like 12 bucks a piece, it looks like. Yeah. California ones. There's a crystal tiger down there. He's 38. Oh, I bet it's skull hit just for our house. They're like Pop figurines. <laughs> you say that's an elephant. They're anthropomorphic. Yeah. That's what they are. Those are versus Japan anthropomorphic salt and pepper shakers. Very cool. They used to be, there used to be a big market for them. I don't know if there is such a. Market for now. That's probably because there's a lot. It's come down, yeah. yeah. The market got flooded. But I think they're adorable. There's a little black cat hiding behind that. Look at his face. It's a twelve dollar cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This doesn't sound like MC Hammer. The original. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Fifty bucks. It's got the many old sign stuff. tumblers that gold overlay on it looks like I think they just need to be cleaned up I don't know if that's actual wear on them it's $35 for the set of six that's pretty cool I haven't seen those before Trains, collectible cool stuff, toys. Look at that down there. Just tons of train parts and tracks and accessories. Pretty cool. Oh, that caught my eye. It's a carnival glass pitcher. Champagne goblets, it looks like. Maybe silver plated. 
cobalt blue, yeah. Set of two. Oh, this doesn't have a price on them. Let's see if this one has the price on it. Forty-five dollars for the pair. So M and M phone. Kind of cool. This is really cool. Handball glass basket. Forty bucks. It's not signed. I don't see any signatures. So forty on that. There's a whole carnival glass punch bowl set. Looks like a maple leaf, maybe. Hundred fifty for the set. It's a pretty nice set. So, it's another booth. The portable pub. Got shaker and cups and all kinds of stuff. Look at that glass. Is Arte Murano made in Italy? It's 55 bucks. That's actually a really good deal for that size of bowl. Oh my gosh. I mean, shipping would be crazy hard. That's still a pretty nice bowl. I mean, the swirls in it with smoke glass. It doesn't appear to have any cracks or anything, so that's a really good shape, really good deal. Tons of carnival glass in this booth. There's a skinny base down there. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing that might be its tag. It's a Murano vase. That's 40 on that one. I'm guessing that goes to it because that tag's missing and that's the only one on there. There's another thick hand blown vintage swan, swan vase, is what he's calling that. 40 bucks. I mean, it's heavy. It's nice. Those are nice too, look at that. Oh, those are heavy. I'm gonna go upstairs, honey. Okay, I'll follow you up there. Do you see these glasses? I did. Those are awesome. Do you feel the weight on them? Tree pattern. No, I didn't actually touch them, I just saw them. You should put them up there at the duty glass. The story on this one. So, all right, let's go upstairs. Oh my gosh. Second floor. Oh, and they have a seating area up here. Nice. So, this is the side of the Phoenix Grass yeah, Summerdale. One of them. There's two actually here, like I said, in Phoenix. This is the one in Goodyear, the one we're closest to right now. But we're gonna need to do some stretches. Okay. I check out a little bit here. These first couple moves. Let's reach the stretching. Come out Tupperware. Fitz and Floyd. 60 bucks for that. That doesn't include the creamer. Creamer's eight bucks or nine bucks. But still, I mean for that. That's I think it's missing its ladle, but still 60 bucks for that piece is pretty good. Has a little bit of chipping on top there, but still a pretty amazing piece. That's very nice. Fruit harvest canister, 25 bucks on that.
meatballs. <laughs> what if those are laser discs? Oh, it's the original soundtrack, so it's vinyl. Vinyl's making a big comeback. You know, it's funny how technology advances and then we miss the old stuff. Eight tracks, cassette tapes, CDs. I still have a ton of CDs actually. Little cat. It's tall over there. Oh, he's uh, nesting. He opens. 10 bucks, two piece. I don't think I can, well, I can kind of open him. Oh, he's missing the inner piece. So it's just the out piece. So. So you don't see cats normally, that's kind of cool. A lot of desert roads, Franciscan wear down here. We actually have a bunch of Franciscan wear in our garage that we haven't even got to yet. That we got from an auction. Maybe one of these days I'll do a boxing video, open it up. We've never even seen it. So we, you'd get to see it and we get to see it. That'd be kind of cool. I think we've opened like one box. Fire King. <laughs> it's kind of unique. Pottery trinket dish. I think its price is 20. I'm not sure. I think it's 20. <laughs> it's a little homemade piece. It's not signed or anything. It's still pretty cool. Bengals? You're a little out of your area, aren't you? What? Cincinnati Bengals. Me? Just, no. Oh. The chair. I thought you said you're a Cincinnati fan, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's all the walking we've done. Homa. Look at all the Frank Homa. That's a pretty cool piece. Got twelve dollars on that. Twelve dollars on that. Six looks like on that. Eight on the cup. I wonder if that's six a plate or six for the set. Carnival tambourine glass too. That's pretty cool. Fifteen on that one. Planter. That's pretty cool. Twenty five on that. It's actually a really good deal. That's a real good deal, actually. Cornucopia, there's a pair of them. Those look like Royal Copley. Rose. Rosa. J.H. Mill, Jeanette Glass, Bunny, 35. Oh, he's cool. So I like a lot of Japanese stuff. Art, Oriental art, 
15 bucks. It's actually a pretty good deal for that. Okay, looks like we got some booze here that gonna be like stuff we're not really known to deal with. So I'm gonna pick this back up when we find something really nice. Okay, this is a pretty nice booth we found up here upstairs. It's got the cups, you know, Starbucks, all that good stuff. And you come around here, and just so much glass. Tons, glass, I can't really get back there. Yeah. It's full, there's a cool lampshade back there. Little guy standing there, the six shooters, metal piece. He's pretty cool, he's 65. Um, can't really get back to the Fiesta stuff. He's got a bunch of Fiesta back there. Stuff like that. Just really full, full of glass. Really nice stuff. There's a, see that? You can see it. There's a, there's a bowl there. Looks like she wants 27 for that one. Yeah. She got some turtles down there. I think my wife didn't see those. Yeah, lots of stuff. There's another calm glass pitcher. Someone's got like a, what do call that? A flora? I don't know, this little pattern here. Um, $40 on it. Yeah, it's old vintage Coke. We used to actually have these. I had a ton of these. And then my mom accidentally lost them in the storage shed and we sold them. I can't remember exactly what happened. But we don't have them no more. They're really cool. I may replace them one of these days when we get a bigger house and we have more room. I like to get a lot more stuff, but. Right now our house is full with inventory of what we sell and then what we collect. So I'll do a video on one of these days on what we have collected too. So you guys can see so some stuff we collect because we like it and some stuff we grab that we were gonna resell that we just can't find anything on and we're like, well, we're gonna keep it in our collection until we kind of get more info on it. I have a really cool paper mache Santa that's like that I'll have to get a video on. We'll get it up on here. It's in good stuff it's good content for you guys we hope you guys like the channel like i said please like comment and subscribe um the more you comment the more we learn if you see something that we don't know what it was or we saw it said it was the wrong thing let us know we've only been reselling for a short time and, and you know every day is a learning learning process so we hope you enjoy it and i'll keep bringing you footage as soon as i find things that i think you guys will like Ooh, is that George Farrar? What is that? No, just gold MCM. Those are cool. I actually have some glasses of them, so I like that. If I remember right. That's kind of cool, too. $230 for that vase. Ooh, that one's nice, too. He's got 110 on that one art piece art glass i'd grab it to see if it's signed but i don't want to i have one hand so that's a big piece of glass i don't want to and i have neuropathy in my hands really bad so that's george Broad right there i can tell that right away pretty sure that is just by the pattern design oh, it's massive oriental vases down there what they got on a pair of those $2,500. Yep, that's about right. I would have, I'd imagine they'd be that. There's hand gold and pitcher back there. They have so much glass. There's a little coffee. Got 35 on that. Tin down there. 
We may not get anything from here just because we don't want it to break on the way back, but we'll see. We'll see if we find anything. 